I'm here at the University Club in Albany with uh, Jeffrey Doig Marks, and many of you may know his work. He's been a choreographer for Park Playhouse for many years, and uh, many years ago, Jeffrey and I were in a show together. We danced. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We won't even go there. I think no. you hadn't started shaving yet, had you? No, we no, no. That I was young. a baby. Yeah. We were well, just so kids. Were I, truly, we were. But Jeffrey has uh, transformed in some many ways, I guess, uh, from his dancing years to being an artist. And I suppose if I do I can take a look around the room, and you can see his artwork. Whoops, that one's still getting ready. And he is going to be the artist in residence here at the University Club through uh, pretty much the end of December. And I want to tell you about how did this come to be? Who got a hold of you and said, Jeffrey, we would like you to be here? Oh, my, Colleen Ryan, who is um, in charge of getting the artist here at the University Club, uh, gave me con uh, just contacted me and asked me if I would be interested. They would love to have me. She saw my work. Um, she she knew my husband, uh, and so I said I would love to. I took a look at the place. The place is amazing. There's a bowling alley in the basement. Um, it's just beautiful, and it was built in the 1900s. And there's lots of history. And I'm back in Albany. So you're going to be here today and tomorrow. Is that it? Today for the opening, which is at six o'clock. Uh, six to eight is the grand opening of the show, and then we're actually leaving tomorrow morning. But I will be coming back uh, through the show, um, and I will be here. How will we know when you're in town? Oh, they'll send up a bat signal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I'll, I'll, it'll be out there. So that then we can talk to you. Some of this artwork is particularly personal mm. for you. Mm -hmm. Well, some of them is, if we go to the, the one that's just being hung up here, which is, I'll take the ladder away. From being a dancer and my inspirations as a dancer, I and mean, even studying was Martha Graham. And so this is Martha Graham in Night Journey, uh, which is one of my favorite paintings. Um, late one night, I was on YouTube, and I found a whole Graham thing, a uh, whole Graham video, and it suddenly made sense. After all this year, I, all these years, I suddenly completely understood what she was saying, which I think came with age. Because when I was a kid, I didn't get it. Before and you know, before I let's see who's ready. Facebook. Oh, okay, you. Uh, before we let you go, this is a big deal in that. So you choreographed about five or six shows for yeah. Park Playhouse through the years. Now to come back with your new life, but this is also your hometown. Oh, this is my hometown, and this is I. I've been here as a choreographer. I've been here as a dancer. I'm now here as a an artist. This is where I'm from. I'm from Gilderland, New York, originally, and. You know, and your story also speaks to following one's dreams. Yeah. You know, being an artist in any the milieu is difficult. So to somebody who is going, I know I could, I would love to, I, what would you say to them? Do it. Just do it. Don't listen to anybody else. They will tell you, just do it. Pick up a paintbrush. Put on a pair of tap shoes. Go to a class. You just do it. Just do it and don't listen to anybody. And we can listen to you this evening. You're going to be here from when to when. And I know that there are a lot of folks in the community who want to come see you because oh, they yeah. know your work. Uh, kids grew up learning how to dance with you. And then so many people have seen your shows that you choreographed and now see your artwork. So you'll be here from when to when tonight. Six to eight is the opening of the show. And I will be here at the University Club. And so stop by, say hi. Um, and they can buy something, too. Can't yeah, you? oh, yeah, everything is for sale. <laughs> <laughs> and before, one other thing. You've also, you're working on to try to get some of your artwork sold through Target on pillows. Oh, there is a cat that I did a painting. I started a business with a friend who had kids, came out of uh, a retirement, and we're working on a business for pillows. And she used to work for Lego, and we have been shopping around Cat, and hopefully we will get it in Target, and uh, kids can have it in their dorm room. I think it'd be a great thing. And we've got more with Jeffrey tonight, live at 5. So it's been fun. It's always great to see him. Thanks, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Later. Now i got to figure out how to turn this off. <laughs>